Hello Internet, my name is Art and I'm doing a YouTube video today on how to hyperlink pie charts. And what I mean by that is uh, create a pie chart in Excel where if you s select one tab like this one, it's going to give you the coordinates and then it's going to take you to hyperlink you to a page. So going back, if I hit Joe over here, it's going to give me the coordinates for Joe. It's a message box, hit OK, it takes you to the Joe tab and so on. I'll do Tim over here, very small. It takes you to the Tim detail chart. So we're going to do this from scratch. And um, let me load up a new tab and we'll begin. OK, first things first, we need uh, just data, just junk data to throw into the pie chart. So I'll just do name and score yet again. Art, Bob, Tim. five. Next thing we do is we add uh, tabs where we want these to go. So I'm going to just call this the series art tab. And I'll continue with the rest of them. And I completed the rest of them, so that was really quick. Now, just to make a pie chart, you just highlight your data over here. Uh, insert pie chart. Here we are. And there you go. Now, I made uh, two of these before, so we'll, we'll just go ahead and add some data labels here. Perfect. And we'll do another one over here um, just for demonstration purposes with just three data points. So insert pie chart. We'll put that one over here for now. All right, um, now, now in order to make these hyperlinkable, um, we need to go into some coding. So the first thing we need to do is create a class module. And then the second one, we need to introduce a global variable. So how in the world do we do this? Okay, so go here to sheet one, right click, and go to view code. Then we're gonna go and insert a class module like that. Okay, now that we're in the class module, we're going to paste the code here. Um, I'm going to give you a minute to pause the video and uh, check it out, but it's an option explicit. You're going to do this um, coding right here. I'm not really a programmer, so I don't know what all this means. However, um, I'll scroll down or maybe enlarge this a little bit so that you can see the entire uh, program. This, this goes in the class, now we have one more step. Actually, with two charts, we're going to do um, two classes. So I'm going to do class module again, insert. It's going to ask me the code, and then I'm just going to paste the same coding in again, starting from the top, option explicit. And the exact same code as class one, we also have that in class two. Next step, what we want to do is make a global variable. So you want to go into this workbook or set some global rules here. And then you want to paste this code. Exit out of here. I'm going to test this out. Good. I'm going to save it. All right, when you save this, um, save it as a, a macro enabled book. So right there is your selection. And then you have to close out and reload it. So I've already done this in practice. Uh, so exit out, go back in, and hopefully this should work. So if I left click here, it gives me a mellow message box, and then it takes me to the detail tab. And we'll do it over here. So, and that works over here. That should be Joe. Takes me to the Joe tab. Uh, now, if you want to get rid of the message box, all you have to do, um, go to view code. Uh, let's close these out to your class modules. Um, this message box right here, um, just go ahead and comment that out. And also, um, the actual hyperlink 
that little coding is right there. It says series, and then whatever the variable is, that plus detail, it's going to take you to the tabs. So let's try that out. And there you go. There's no little message box or anything. You're back there. So hope this helps. Um, it took me a little while to figure it out, but hopefully now you can do it too, and it saves you a lot of time programming. Thanks a lot.